guys, it's Lydia and today I have a tip for you for uh, tank tops in your RV. Anyway, one of the tips that I learned on the road is that these hangers are expensive. But you don't always need these hangers. So what I do now for my tank tops when I'm traveling is I had this belt hanger in my closet that I wasn't using. And I realized that these are great for hanging all of my tank tops. So because they're ribbed, they don't wrinkle. So what you're going to do is just going to grab the two sleeves and you're going to make sure it's not wrinkled and then you're just going to hang it there. So you can see how many tank tops I have. This is how I keep it now in my house and in the RV. So it takes up a lot less space and I save myself the money. Of that. There's 12 because I'm using also the hooks from the top. So not just in the front, I'm all, there's also hooks on this one here. So I'm also able to hang some here. That's 12 hangers that I didn't need to purchase. And it saves a lot of space and I can just pull this out and pick the one that I want. Isn't that awesome? So I love this idea. So what I ended up doing was um, I had some of these um, curtain drapery hooks there at home. So what I did was I just, if you, if you look at that, I just put it right over. So now I'm able to use on the back side of that hanger, I'm able to hang more tank tops. I just got to grab this whole thing and all my tank tops are here. I love it. Front and back. So I don't need to buy another one because I'm using the back side of this. See? Um, oh, also, big and big news. I posted it on Facebook. I'm in the process of research whether or not I want to buy a, a, a truck camper. Since my uncle is now in Miami and I do have to visit him often, at least every three months. For me, it's a lot of work to bring this big rig when Willie, my mom's doing the cooking over there. And um, I don't need such a big rig over there. So what I'm thinking is I'm actually researching the, my ability to be able to purchase a truck camper and just use that over the winter time. For me and Christian, we can boondog and go to a lot of places during the winter time and just use this RV when we're going to have extended stays, where we're going to be full-timing over the summer. That way I can do the maintenance and we can just boondog and do a lot of great stuff in a truck camper. So stay tuned for that because I'm also going to be looking into that and we'll be visiting some places and we'll be looking at some uh, truck campers in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye.